Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, again I am going to talk about one of the tissue culture technique called as the embryo culture. So if you have seen my previous videos, we have been talking about different types of inoculation method where I demonstrated you the seed culture or from the in vitro seeds how to take the leaf as an explant and from the leaf we had induced callus. So like this there are many methods and uh, I have also discussed you what and all paths can be taken and what and all are the different process of doing it. Let it be cell suspension culture or let it be callus induction. So we have been talking about variety of tissue culture techniques. In this video, I am going to talk about the embryo culture. So now, before moving on to the topic, what and all you should be knowing it. And if you have not seen all those videos, I will give you the link in the description. Please do go watch those things. First and the foremost things you need to know. What is tissue culture laboratory consists of? What and all are the instruments that we are using? All those things you should be knowing. So I have made a video on those things. Uh, again I am repeating if you have not watched please do go and watch those things. And next what is the surface sterilization process? Because here I am not going to talk about in depth about the surface sterilization. For those people who are watching this video for the first time, I have made a different video where how do we surface sterilize the seeds and how do we inoculate them. So all those things, the stages of seed germination, all those things, complete video I have given you. So you have to watch all those things. Here now we will move on to today's topic. Here what we are going to do is we are going to take the seed we are going to break open the seed and we are going to separate the embryo and we are going to inoculate the embryo on the medium and we are going to do the embryo culture. Now first and the foremost thing, what is the advantage or why should we do embryo culture? Some seeds, if you place them or directly on the media, they will take longer duration for the germination process. So in that case, to speed up the process, we will take the seed, we will remove the cotyledons, the fruit coat, seed coat, everything we will just pluck the embryo out of the seed and we will directly place them on the ms media to speeden up the process that is one of the importance of the embryo culture in some other cases some seeds will produce high phenolic quantities high phenolics will be produced i have also given you this technique how to avoid the phenolic exudates by adding activated charcoal all those things i have discussed in my previous video the another method to avoid that is because of the seed coat uh, i mean the seed coat and the cotyledons all those things are the major reason for the phenolic exudation that will hinder the plant to grow that will not allow the seed to germinate so in that case what can i do i can remove the seed and i can just take my embryo and i can inoculate them directly on the media so this is the some of the techniques why we follow embryo culture there are so many methods that you can follow depending on what plant you are working upon so that is a main area that you have to look what plant you are going to select and you have to do literature review to see what work has been done how people have been germinating it or how people are producing callus or based on what is your research objective so based on that we will decide whether you are going to do embryo culture or cotyledon culture or in vitro seed germination taking leaf as an explant and produce callus so it all depends on your research objective now what is the requirements now we require since it is an embryo culture we require the seed or the fruit so here i have taken the fruit let me show you some fruit so this is the fruit that i have taken here so this is actually fruits so from this i am going to remove the fruit wall to get the seed i will show you the seed and i am going to break open the seed and i will also show you the embryo that is the first thing that we require that is the explant and the second and the foremost important thing is the media there are so many media that is available like murashi gas cooks basal media or to grow for the uti plants we take an another media so there are so many media so again you have to go back to the literature reports to see which plant you are working on and which media people have used so here i have taken a simple basal ms media or the murashi gas cooks media we call it as we use such phyta jars or jam bottles and what we are going to do we are going to pour 50 ml around like that media here and we are going to autoclave this and sterilize this and we are going to allow it to cool down so that it forms a semi solid media or a solid media like this so media is the most second most important thing after the explant and next very important thing is your you need all the instruments like scalpel forceps petri plates whichever everything should be sterilized 
and it has to be autoclaved and everything keep one set in the lap and also a lap laminar airflow should be surface sterilized using 70% alcohol or spirit you can use and you have to surface sterilize them properly so i will demonstrate you in the lap also once how to inoculate all those things here also i will show you how to do it now first thing is you are going to take this so this is a fruit as i said you it is a fruit so i am going to break this fruit wall so this is all the fruit that i have taken since i have kept it in the deep freezer i have collected and stored it it has become blackish in color or else it will be green in color so the storage is also very important if the fruit is ripened very well the fruit wall can be easily broken just by squeezing it so you got the fruit wall outside and this is my actual seed so in some cases what happens is the fruit wall will be very difficult to break open you cannot squeeze them so you can use the Uh, the, uh, any harder substance like this like pestle uh, you, you all know pestle and mortar so from the pestle we can just hit it once to open this so here you have to surface surface sterilize the seeds after removing the fruit wall now here i had just shown you right i just squeezed and i just removed this is the fruit coat fruit wall and this is my actual seed at this stage you have to surface sterilize so you we do surface sterilization so there is again all those things you have to standardize your own protocol so using sodium mm, hypochlorite and using mercury chloride the duration varies from plant to plant and type of work that you are doing so this has to be surface sterilized and this seed has to be brought inside the lab chamber so one i will show you this this is it is having a very thick seed uh, fruit wall so i am going to use this and i am going to break open it so here you can see i have taken the fruit now using this pestle keeping it on a hard surface like this on the wall or something like this i am just going to hit it once so you will get that crack sound i hope you heard that sound so now it will be very easy for me to break it so i can just take the fruit coat like this now so you can see i have taken the i have broken the fruit wall and i have taken the seed in my hand this yellowish color is the seed and this is the fruit now this has to have been undergone the surface sterilization process so this i'll keep it in separate conical flasks and i will undergo i will take this for surface sterilization like this you are going to break open the fruit wall carefully such that the seed is not damaged so make sure that you're taking right aged fruits or mature fruits such that even the embryo should be mature you cannot take an immature embryo and place it on the media they will not germinate so you're going to take a proper matured fruits you are going to take now now here you can see once i break open the seed beautiful embryo can be seen over here so what we have done we have taken the fruit now we have broken the fruit coat we have removed the seed this whitish color seed and i will untake this for surface sterilization i'll put all this in the conical flasks i will take it for surface sterilization wash it with tap water distilled water and then bring it to the lab chamber in lab chamber what i am going to do is i am going to carefully dissect this there will be two cotyledons if it is a monocotyledon there will be only one cotyledon if it is a dicot there will be two cotyledons so carefully we are going to dissect it and make sure that we break the seed into two equal half so that is why i said all this scalpel forceps everything should be sterile so this we are going to do it in the lab now once i open this i can find my beautiful embryos over here so i hope you can see this embryo the center one is the embryo so now i will just take one embryo and i will show you so take a sharp forcep yes and you can find the this is the embryo so this i am going to place it on the basal media i hope you can see this very clearly so this is my embryo so you can find the embryo like this in the seed so you can see here so like this embryo i am going to take and i can keep it i can take on petri plate also with me in the lab and i can do all this work and then i can place it in the petri plate everything should be done in front of the spirit lamp or in front of the flame to maintain the sterile environment so you can see the embryo now so this is the embryo so just for contrasting background i am keeping a black chart over here 
so you can find the embryo so this is how an embryo looks and it differs from plant to plant the embryo might be very big or it may be very small so this if i am going to place it on this so you can see here the embryo if i place it on the basal media from this embryo it will going to germinate so you can find the embryo structure like this and you can place it all in the petri plate now one more seed i will take i will dissect it carefully and i will show you embryo so again the age of the seed also matters if so if you are taking a mature seed you will get a bigger embryo if you take a small younger seed you are going to get a small embryo so now using a sharp scalpel i have break i am going to break the cotyledons so see i have broken the cotyledons into two parts now one part uh, the one half will be having embryo so be very careful don't throw off the uh, cotyledon which is not uh, which is having embryo and here also you can see nice beautiful embryo you can see so this is the embryo over here now i am taking the embryo out to show you people see such big embryo i have got so i will just demonstrate to you outside itself how to place it in the basal media i'm not going to do it in the lab and show you now all the embryos i'm going to place it on the petri plate so like this this is all will be done inside the lab so be careful so you'll we'll surface sterilize the seeds and take the seed inside the lab break the cotyledon and isolate the embryo everything should be done in the sterile environment inside the lab and keep it on the petri plates now what i'm going to do is i'm going to place it here and i'm going to show you so you will just keep a spirit lamp or a flame over here you are going to open the cap just show it in front of the flame and take the embryo from the petri plate that you had placed it you can see this this is the embryo and slowly you are going to place it inside this media you can place two to three embryos in one jam bottles and later so you can place many embryos in a single jam bottles and then later once the embryo germinates you can place them into different phyta jars now i'll just take one more embryo see one more embryo and i'm placing it on the other end and the last embryo and this is also in one end one corner i am going to place it so once all the embryos are placed properly just make sure you are slightly pressing them also whenever you are taking the embryo be very gentle not to damage any part or any portion of it uh, even when you are breaking the seed when you are breaking the cotyledons be very very careful now you can see i have placed three five, uh, embryos i have placed over here in black background you can see them so now what i am going to do is i am going to keep it in the growth room so you you would have all seen the growth room so if you have not watched my videos please go to watch those videos i have shown you and also one more thing i wanted to say here some embryos need dark condition for germination some embryos can be kept even in light condition they will germinate so it is simple principle that whenever we sow the seed we take a darker condition in the pot right so same thing applies over here some embryos will require the dark condition or some embryos will just it will germinate in the light condition also and one more thing is you can also do this in the test tubes like this so instead of taking phyta jars you can take uh, test tubes so same principle open the cap and take the embryo and place it inside so i will show you that also one so you can see here i have just placed one embryo over here within one week the embryo will start to cultivate like this it will start to germinate so you can find the hypocotyle epicotyle all these things can be seen i will just show you in the background keeping this so i hope it is visible to you you can find the small elongated structure i hope you can see it now clearly so yeah so see you can see the germination where the hypocotyle epicotyle all this have been formed so this is how we germinate the embryo once you find the true leaves coming out you have to subculture keep them keep on subculturing them in different phyta jars you can do or you can do it in conical flask depending upon your nature of your project work or your research work so this completes this video i thank you 
for your patience watching and also please do watch my other videos if you have any comments please do post it and if you like this video give a thumbs up and do share with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you